Who are the Fantastic Four? Yes, they are Marvel superheroes, but also that's how I call the most important parts of your footwork or zapateado. Golpe, planta, tacón y punta. Let me guide you through them in the next video. Hi there, it's Maria Vega with the Open Flamenco Project, your online place to learn everything about flamenco and Spanish dance. What are the basic parts of your footboard, zapateado? Remember to start with your basic position. Knees slightly bent and feet slightly open. First one of your Fantastic Four, the golpe, is when we stomp with the whole foot on the floor. It's very important to get the energy for your golpe from the back directly to the floor. Never ever do this. Planta is when we stop with the ball of the feet. It normally goes together with the tacón. Tacón is the heel. We can use the heel alone, but normally goes after the planta or other movements. The tacón can be used as well like this. As an example, I can do this. You can also use two tacones together. you can do doble tacón and double planta. Punta. You can use the punta in so many ways. Here there's another example. Second way to use the punta. You can use this part of your shoe to do the sound instead of this one. This is what we call latiguillo. Let me show you an example on how you can use all these elements together. It's all about imagination to combine them in every possible way. I want to give you two tips to improve your footwork. First one, be patient, meaning that speed will come with practice. So take every single part of your footwork practice very, very, very slow and then start building up the speed, but always having your focus in the clarity of the sound. Tip number two, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Meaning that you don't have to be in a dance studio in order you to practice your footwork. You can have a small piece of wood at home and just do your daily practice there as I do. You don't need to kill yourself doing hours and hours of intense footwork. 
Even with 15 minutes a day, it will be enough to improve your practice. I have different tricks to have a portable floor, which I will show you in another video. How to do it cheap and easy. I really hope you found this video useful. Remember that my advice doesn't replace the one from your regular teacher. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video and also remember to subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as Maria Vega Dancer. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!